What's up, y'all? It's Dubbing. I'm back with another tournament game. This one was actually to go to Burbank for the live event, the Madden Challenge live event. Only eight people made it, and this game was actually against True Boy, who came to Xbox this year. He's always been a PlayStation guy, but this is his first tournament trying to qualify on Xbox. So I took that as a challenge. I can't let a PlayStation guy come over here and make the live event that easily through Xbox, because we all know Xbox is the superior system. So this was a big game for me, you know, I didn't want to lose a true boy. I'm undefeated versus him in all tournament play, and I had to keep that streak going. He got the ball first. The main thing I was worried about was the run. So he comes out here and starts the first play. He starts with a pass, and Cam Newton actually goes ahead and throw, overthrows this. That's the gift and the curse with Cam. I think that's the one bad pass he had all game. He goes, hits a little drag underneath. Once again, he's forcing me to be in 3-4 because he's in these run formations. He's in these heavy sets. So I'm, I'm forced to be in 3-4, and I'm okay with that because, you know, I got decent linebackers. I got a decent D-line, so we can go ahead and make some plays. You see Sue there getting off the ball, and we're getting trucked, but that's all right. Kraus goes ahead and makes the tackle behind. Just want to hold him. No big runs is my main goal here. Harry sets up a nice play with a deep crossing route, able to throw that, you know, in front of my zone, and I wasn't expecting that. It was a nice play by him to come out of nowhere. Here he goes with a stretch, and Paul Kraus and Jalen Ramsey get disrespected by Adrian Peterson. Who was probably the best running back in the, in the draft champions draft pool for this particular tournament. So I gave up seven fairly easily. Disappointed in my run defense. Like I said, that was the main thing I was concerned about going into this game. Particularly with True Boy. I wanted to make him pass. And hopefully he'll freestyle and give me an interception. Here we go. He comes out with a cover three look. I hit a baby one. He comes out in cover three look again. So I said, you know what? Let's try it. I got a second and short. We're going for a cover three bomb to Kenny Stills. We go ahead and get it. And we get a touchdown, but ah, oh, Eric Weddle grabs me at the last second, forces me to have to run it in. We go fullback dive, absolutely boxed. We're just going to go ahead and go fullback dive again to Melvin Gordon. He fought a little bit here, but doesn't get in third and goal. We're not going to overthink it. We're going to go to the well again, and this time, Melvin Gordon gets it in the end zone. So that's big to tie the game. And here we go, Adrian Peterson trucking away. Trucked over Harrison Smith, my superstar safety, but... You know, you got to live with it. You can't do too much about trucks and jukes. You just got to live with the, with the results. Try to get a lot of bodies around them. And here he goes. He hits a deep in route over my user. Wasn't ready for that. That's another nice play by him. Here we go. We send six. We get a fumble with the quarterback. We can't pick it up. I don't know who was picking it up going for it, but they got to come up with that for me. Here we go to run. Mark Barron comes out of nowhere, makes a big play right there on the tackle. So get him to a third and 15. He goes and hits underneath, and we tackle him. So what's he going to do right now? He's going to no huddle. He's running bus tight in, so I'm baseline pressing. I don't have to worry about someone on the outside getting a streak. So I'm going to baseline press my cover three. And what he's going to do here, he's actually going to audible out to a wide set. And he's going to see that my corner is still baseline. So what he wants to do is quick snap and hit a streak. But I click on the corner and move him back just in time. So his first read is absolutely boxed. And he goes ahead and throws it anyway. Get a turnover on downs. It's a great job of realizing what he was doing and clicking on my corner and making a play. Moving him back so I didn't give up a bomb. And he threw it anyway and turned the ball over on downs. So now I get ball at half. This is a big possession for me to go ahead and get some points. We're going to hit a dot in the corner route right there. Get a first down. We're in his territory. And we'll go ahead and try to pop a, pop a draw right here. Get a little run stick. Go ahead and hit him with the two-step bomb to the touchdown. Melvin Gordon. Get a touchdown on a run like that is big. I don't have to worry about the red zone. Don't have to worry about dots. Don't worry about reading covers. Get a nice run. Touchdown there. So here we go. I'm going to try to stop the run here. That's all I'm talking about. Here we go. Hargraves. Great tackle right there. Get him to a third and long. Again, third and ten. Play action. We get pressure on Cam Newton when he runs out, throws it out. Fourth and ten. This could end the game if I get this. I'm already in field goal range. I get the ball at half. Huge play in the game here. And he's able to go ahead and sneak a little corner route in on me. I didn't expect the corner route there. That was a nice play by him. Barely got the first down, but he got it nonetheless. Here he goes with a little play action. Throws underneath, and Harrison Smith baptizes him. And that's what it's about. Here we go again. Mark Barron getting trucks, running over. Get to a third and one. We're anticipating a run here. We're having Mark Barron comes through. Low bridges Adrian Peterson. We get the turnover that time. Jason Pierre-Paul hops on the ball. Almost in field goal range. I'm at a 34. I'm really not confident in my ability to kick a field goal. I try to hit a draw against some yards. We get nothing. Try to go to corner strike. Max protect. He goes double flats on one side. This was great defense. Scramble with Derek Carr. Take a hit. I didn't want to throw the ball away. Make him use a timeout. Still want to get just a couple yards here. Go ahead. I try to scramble with Carr, and I trip over my running back. It happens to me all the time. Didn't think I can make this field goal, so I go for it here on fourth down. 
I'm absolutely boxed. He plays great defense for what I wanted to do. Good defense by me. Goes a pick. I actually probably could have kicked that field goal. It was a long field goal. I didn't think I could make it, and I should have kicked it there. So that was an opportunity for me to go up two scores, and I missed it. So it should be 17-7, but I'm going ahead. I want to try to hold him for no points before the half. Mark Barron again getting off the block, making a big play for me. That's a huge tackle. I allow him to throw this drag and get out of bounds. This is a big play by him. I don't want him to get a field goal here, especially don't want him to get a touchdown. And Dominic and Sue fighting for me. He's going to go ahead and no huddle here. It's a good sequence because he's going to try to get out of bounds or run the ball to get enough for a field goal. Now here he goes. He runs again. And once again, Sue and Barron. Sue and Barron. Sue and Barron. They make the play again. This is third down. So he's going to make his field goal after this. So he might run again. It's a possibility. But he goes ahead with a little pass here. And what happens is I play covers, double flats. He hits over the middle. So this gives him time. It's going to be tough for him to get this field goal off. But, you know, he's an experienced player, so he should be able to do this. Coach suggestions, put me in field goal block. I know he's going to kick it right away. It's giving me a great opportunity to block the field goal. And we come off the edge and we go for the... And we miss the block. Not only that, but we get a rough in the kicker. You know what I'm saying? So he's able to go ahead and get another easy attempt at the field goal. Big play there. I should be up 17 to 7, but I'm actually going to go in the half 14 to 10. That's a big swing. It's something I got to forget about, put it behind me, and, you know, focus on the rest of the game. Second half, we get the ball. We'll come out here. Throw a little corner strike. He actually blitzed right there. He's still in this 3 4 bear or whatever with a cover three look. And I'm okay with that. You know, if you're going to show me his cover three every play, I feel good about that. Enough in the disguise. I go for the cover three beater again. He changed his zones, but I'm able to hit a playmaker. Go ahead with Kenny Stills again, making big plays. You need that speed on the outside. He made another big play for me there. Get me back in field goal range. And we'll hit underneath Melvin Gordon gets tackled. So now I know the game is tied no matter what. We'll go a little corner strike right here. Able to hit the corner route on the hard flats. Throw it in front of the deep blue zone. So we go draw. I think he ran commit right here. That was a good call by him. First down. Always want to try to get a draw. Second down, I'm going to go ahead and try to hit one of my favorite plays in the red zone. That's inside cross. Little running back speed route, go ahead and get me to the two yard line, give me a second goal on two. And here I wanted to dive, but it just didn't have the right audible. So I tried this inside zone split, which is just bad. Glad they put in audibles on the fly so I can have a dive in my audibles. Didn't have it there, so I was forced to run that play. Didn't work for me, so I'm only up seven. I'll always take my field goal here, I'll never risk it. Because if I'm up seven, no matter what, I'm always gonna either be tied, cause, you know, be tied if he scores here. So there we go. We stop. Krause makes a great tackle on the play right there. He throws the drag in, gets a block right away from his running back. That's one of the main plays that he ran a lot. I knew I was ready for that play, but not he snuck it in there there. Got a big play on me. Here we go again. He goes for a nice little uh cover two beater, but I was in cover four. So nothing's really open. Scrambles with Cam. We make a play there. Second and six, you see Mark Barron and Dominic Sue again. They really played the middle of my defense very well. Didn't give up too many rushing yards up the middle. Here we go again. He's got Tevin Coleman fighting, fighting for yards. That's okay. Just nothing big. You know, that's all I'm pretty much worried about. No big runs, no big touchdowns. He no huddles here on first down. I couldn't tell you why. But he all about a bunch tight ends, so I'm expecting inside zone here. So I'm on my safety. And that's what he runs. Gets 10 yards here. You know, and Krause comes up and sticks him. But then we hits the corner round. So he's doing pretty good this drive. I got to bow my neck. I got to hold the door. No touchdowns. I'm still up seven points. Here he goes with a little playmaker. Bunch trail. It was all boxed. Throws the ball away. So we're going to do a second down. Bunch tight end play here. He's boxed again. I send the spot. Come down. We grab Ken Newton. He fumbles. And I don't know who recovered the ball. Can y'all tell me who, in, the, in the comments, tell me who recovered that ball? Because it should have been me right here. We ah, I thought I had a spot. Ziggy Arnsot grabs him. Now he no huddles again. This is the second fourth down he's no huddled for. A lot of times fourth and four, someone knows huddles, I, I'm, I'll go to man coverage just to give him a different look. That's why I do go to man coverage, put a spy on him, rush two people. And we'll see what happens. I don't know what play he ran, but it was absolutely boxed. Go ahead, we got two spies. We send them. He goes underneath, and that's boxed, and I get the ball over, get the ball back. Now I know in this drive, after getting the ball back, I get points here. The game's over, and I'm going to Burbank. That's pretty much my mindset going into this drive. That the game is over if I get points here. So go ahead and try to hit a draw with Melvin Gordon. Get me a couple yards. It gets me to a third and manageable. That's what I wanted right here was the third and manageable. I'm going to draw the play up. I didn't run all game. And that's a post to my outside receiver with a drag the other way. Didn't run that all game. Saved it for there. And got it done. And here we go. With a whoop, whoop. 
a little Melvin Gordon draw, take it to the Baja. And that run will put me up two scores with three minutes left. Pretty much cement my place in the Burbank. So here we go. Now we got to give him no big plays. We get a sack on Cam Newton. That's what we want to do. And he no huddles. A rage no huddle because he's, he's struggling, running out of time. No huddles. I'm going to keep bringing the dogs, keep bringing the heat. He's multiple to ace. Most of the time, he's going to be skinny post here. We bring the heat. We lurk the left side. We come through the gap. Boom. Picked off. Harrison Smith picks it off, breaks the tackle, takes it to the Baja. And that's GG's in the chat. 21 point lead. Under three minutes in the fourth quarter, that's the goal to Burbank. And that was a big play for me. I knew that one cemented. I was feeling good anyway, but that play definitely cemented it. I go ahead and sack him here now. He's looking for big plays. Now, I told you, you make him have to pass, it's going to be a long day for him. So, I'm able to do that. And here we're able to get pressure on the quarterback, juking away, tackle him in bounds. Tick, 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 tick. No huddles. Never play action play. We come here, we come down. And we pick this off, and the game is over. You know we got a swag on him after a flood like this. And that's going to end the game. Good game to him. I was really prepared. Stopped the run really well. Made big plays in the passing game. He, he went for a lot of fourth downs, and that was the reason why I won. Because I stopped him on two big fourth downs in the game and got that pick six. And then also able to get two big runs. I got two big runs with Melvin Gordon. They were huge plays, and they propelled me to the victory, you know, because I don't want to have to deal with the red zone. Don't really want to pass something down the field. If I'm able to bust runs for big gains, I'll always take it. So, you know, that was a, my ability to get to the second live event this year. It was a great game. You know, let me know how you enjoyed this game. It wasn't as tight and down to the wire as most of the other games that I post. So, I'm going to hit the like, comment, hit the sub. I'm going to drop tons more videos like this, hopefully. Keep some gameplay going for y'all and some more, you know, What's going through my mind as the game's going on? So, like I said, please comment, please uh, hit the like and the sub, and I'll be back with more of these. Nerd.